Grade 10. Biology. Chapter 1. Introduction to Biology. Learning Outcomes. It is expected that students will explain how the study of biology is important in daily life. Identify the common characteristics of living things. Know how living things are classified into three domains and six kingdoms. 1.1. The study of biology. Biology is the study of living things. A large variety of living things exists on the land, in the water and in the air. Living things, organisms, include plants, animals including humans and other organisms. Thus, biology deals with the study of all organisms that live or have ever lived on the earth. 1.1.1 The importance of biology in everyday life. Biology is very fundamental and important science dealing with bacteria, protista, fungi, plants and animals including humans. Their structures and functions are associated with one another in their respective environments. To a great extent, we owe our daily high standard of living to biological advances in two areas, food production and disease control. Plant and animal breeders have modified organisms to yield greater amounts of food than did older varieties. The improvements in the plants, along with better farming practices, have greatly increased food production. Biological research has also improved food production by developing controls for the disease organisms, pests and weeds that reduce yields. Biologists must understand the nature of these harmful organisms to develop effective control methods. 1.1.2 The different fields of study in biology. The main branches of biology are Botany, study of plants Zoology, study of animals Microbiology, study of microscopic organisms Some other branches of biology are Morphology, study of forms and structures of organisms Anatomy, study of gross internal structures Histology, study of microscopic structures of tissues Cytology, study of cells Physiology, study of living processes or functions of the various parts of organisms Embryology, study of early development of organisms Paleontology, study of fossils the remains of organisms that lived millions of years ago, now preserved in rocks. Taxonomy, study of classification of organisms. Ecology, study of the relationships of organisms to their environments. Biodiversity, study of varieties among living organisms. Evolution, study of the origin and change in forms of organisms over time. Genetics, study of heredity and variations. Mycology, study of fungi. Protostology, study of protists. Phycology, study of algae. Virology, study of viruses. Bacteriology, study of bacteria. Molecular biology, study of molecules in organisms. Biotechnology, study of utilization of living organisms in industrial processes. Bioinformatics, Study of Information Technology to Interpret Molecular Biology Data 1.1.3 Characteristics of Living Things The main characteristics of living things are their cellular structure, metabolism, growth, movement, irritability, reproduction, and adaptability. Cellular Structure All living things consist of the living substance called protoplasm, which forms the basis of cells. These cells contain DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, molecules that cany biological information. Cells of plants and animals are organized into tissues and tissues are in turn organized into organs and systems. These structures are responsible for carrying out the various life processes. Metabolism Metabolism is the sum of the various processes that give the organisms life. The two aspects of metabolism are anabolism and catabolism. The food material is made into a part of the organism in the process of anabolism. The food material 
when broken down, releases energy and results in the formation of waste products. This process is termed as catabolism. The important metabolic processes that take place in organisms involve the utilization of food. This includes nutrition, respiration and excretion. Growth The growth of an organism is seen as an increase in size and weight resulting from the use of food to further develop structures in the organism. Movement All living things show some kinds of movement. This is more obvious in animals since they have organs of movement or locomotion. Movements in plants mainly take place inside the cells although some results from a stimulus such as light. Irritability Living things respond to stimulus. The stimulus can be any changes in the environment, light, sound, touch, temperature, etc., which brings about a reaction in an organism due to a sensitivity to the stimulus. Reproduction Reproduction is the production of a new generation of offspring. The two types of reproduction are asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. In asexual reproduction, the new individual may be produced by a part of the old one. There is only one parent organism needed for asexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction produces a new individual as a result of the fusion of two parental sex cells. These two cells come, one from each individual of the same species. The cells are fused to form a single new organism. Adaptability Living organisms are able to adjust and adapt themselves to changes in their external and internal environments. Adaptability increases the chances of species surviving and can result in the formation of a new species. For instance, a change of seasons or a shortage of food may cause certain birds to migrate to another place where the conditions are more favorable. A plant may grow very straight and upright to stand above plants around it. This enables this plant or plant species to get enough sunlight to survive and even to dominate the environment. 1.2 Taxonomy The science of classification of organisms is taxonomy. This is the general name for groups or categories within a classification system. 1.2.1 Diversity of Organisms There are vast numbers of living things in the world. The word biodiversity is a short form of biological diversity, which means that the abundance of different types of species. Scientists are not aware just how many different types of organisms exist in nature. It is because previously unknown species are being discovered all the time. 1.2.2 Taxonomy in the study of biology Classification is essential to biology because there are too many different living things to sort out and compare unless they are organized into manageable categories. With an effective classification system in use, it is easier to organize the ideas about organisms and make generalizations. The scheme of classification has to be flexible, allowing newly discovered living organisms to be added into the scheme where they fit best. As living and extinct species are related, Fossils should also be considered in this scheme. The process of classification involves Giving every organism an agreed name Placing the organism into a group based on the common characteristics it shares with others in the group 1.2.3 The importance of taxonomy By taxonomy, it is much easier to lean biology as there are millions of known and unknown organisms. Taxonomy can be used to examine the evolutionary history of organisms and the relationships between organisms. 1.2.4 Taxonomic Hierarchy Biological classification schemes are the invention of biologists, based upon the best available evidence at that time. In classification, the aim is to use as many characteristics as possible in placing similar organisms together. Just as similar species are grouped together into the same genus, plural genera. Similar genera are grouped together into families. This approach is extended from families to orders, then classes, phyla or divisions and kingdoms. 
This is the hierarchical scheme of classification, each successive group containing more and more different kinds of organisms. When a classification of a species is written, it starts with the kingdom followed by other taxonomic ranks of division or phylum, class, order, family, genus and species. For examples, Kingdom, Plantae Kingdom, Animalia Division, Magnoliophyta Phylum, Chordata Class, Monocotyledons Class, Mammalia Order, Cyperales Order, Primates Family, Posi Family, Hominidae Genus, Oriza Genus, Homo Species, O. sativa. Species, 2. Sapiens. 1.2.5 Classification of plants and animals. Everyone must be able to identify objects and to relate their observations to other people. Most people are familiar with some of the common forms of plants and animals. However, since there are so many different kinds of plants as well as animals, the word plant, or animal, is not sufficient for identification. Linnaeus, 1707-1778, a Swedish naturalist, studied and gave scientific names to thousands of plants and animals. He introduced the binomial system of nomenclature in the year 1753. Each plant and animal is given a two-word name by this system. The first name is the genus and the second is the species. The name of the genus is always started with a capital letter and the name of the species is started with a small letter. These two names constitute the scientific name of the organism. For example, the scientific name of human is Homo sapiens and that of paddy plant is Oryza saliva. 1.3 Kingdoms A kingdom is a subdivision of a domain. The living things are classified and placed in one of the six kingdoms. The three domains bacteria, Archaea and Eukarya diverged early in the history of life. Subsequently, many new kinds of organisms have evolved. Each of these kingdoms has its own set of characteristics. 1.3.1 Kingdoms of Living Things Organisms are divided into six kingdoms. There are two kingdoms within the domains Archaea and Bacteria, namely kingdoms Archibacteria and Eubacteria. Their differences are based primarily on the metabolism and genetic composition of the organisms. Within the domain Eukarya, there are four kingdoms, Protista, Fungi, Plantae and Animalia, Table 1.1 and Figure 1.1. Living Organisms Three Domains Archaea Bacteria Eukarya Six Kingdoms Archibacteria Eubacteria Protista fungi Plantae Animalia Figure 1.1 Relationship between three domains and six kingdoms of classification Table 1.1 Characteristics of six kingdoms Kingdoms Characteristics Examples Diagrams Archibacteria Primitive Live in extreme environment Prokaryote Unicellular Obligate anaerobic Thermophiles Methanogens Thermophiles Eubacteria Prokaryote Unicellular Autotrophs or heterotrophs Asexual reproduction by fission. Bacteria. Cyanobacteria. Bacteria. Protista. Eukaryote. Unicellular. Autotrophs or heterotrophs. Asexual or sexual reproduction. Amoeba. Euglena. Slime mold. Paramecium. Paramecium. Table 1.1 Characteristics of six kingdoms, continued, kingdoms. Characteristics Examples Diagrams 
fungi, eukaryote, heterotrophs, asexual or sexual reproduction, unicellular or multicellular, yeast, rhizopus, mushroom, mushroom, plantae, eukaryote, multicellular, autotrophs, vegetative, asexual or sexual reproduction, algae, liverworts, mosses, ferns, conifers, angiosperms, angiosperm, animalia, eukaryote, multicellular, heterotrophs, asexual or sexual reproduction, earthworms, insects, fish, birds, mammals, mammals, viruses, viruses are not included in the six kingdoms of living organisms. Viruses, although not considered as living organisms, cause common diseases such as colds and influenza, figure 1.2, and also more serious ones such as AIDS, acquired immune deficiency syndrome. Proteins. Genetic material, RNA. 10 nanometers, figure 1.2. An influenza virus. Characteristics of viruses. 1. Viruses are not generally considered to be alive. 2. They are very small, 20 to 400 nanometers, non-cellular particles. 3. Each virus particle contains DNA or RNA covered by a protein coat. 4. They are parasites and causing diseases in plants and animals. 5. Virus in infected cells can make copies of themselves for reinfection in other host cells. 6. Viruses cannot move, feed, excrete, show sensitivity or grow and can reproduce only in the living host cells. 7. Virus cannot survive outside the host cells. 1.3.2 Kingdom Protista The term protist means any eukaryotic organism that is not a plant, animal or fungus. About 60,000 protist species have been described. They are the most diverse of the four kingdoms in the domain Eukarya. The kingdom protista contains unicellular and colonial groups. Characteristics of protista 1. They live in water but a few species live in moist area. Some can even live in the human intestine. 2. Nucleus and other organelles are present. 3. Movement is often by flagella, cilia or pseudopodia. 4. Contractile vacuole helps the cell remove excess water. 5. They reproduce asexually by fission, budding or fragmentation. 6. Most protists can be divided into three main groups based on their characteristics. A. Plant-like protists contain chlorophyll in chloroplasts and make their own food, autotrophs, example, euglena. B. Animal-like protists, no chlorophyll, feed on other organisms, heterotrophs, and can move from place to place, example, amoeba. C. Fungus-like protists, no chlorophyll, feed on dead organic mat, heterotrophs, and lack chitin in their cell walls, example, slime mold, water mold. The protists include six general groups according to the characteristics, Table 1.2. Table 1.2. Divisions of phyla of protists. Divisions of phyla. Characteristics. Examples. Autotrophic protists. Chlorophyta. Photosynthetic unicellular, without flagella, contains chlorophylls. Chlorella. Euglenophyta. Some photosynthetic, others heterotrophic, unicellular, contains chlorophylls or none. Euglena. Table 1.2. Divisions of phyla of protists, continued. Chrysophyta. Unicellular, manufactures the carbohydrate chrysolaminarin, Unique double shells of silica, contains chlorophylls. Diatom. Rhizopoda. Movement by pseudopodia, lac chromatophores, 
pigment-containing cells, possess a single nucleus, asexual reproduction by binary fission. Amoeba. Actinopoda. Glassy skeletons, needle-like pseudopods. Actinosferium. Foraminifera. Rigid shells, moved by protoplasmic streaming. Podia. 1.3.3, Kingdom Fungi. Characteristics of fungi. 1. A collection of hyphae, thin thread-like filaments form the mycelia. 2. Chlorophyll is absent and unable to carry out photosynthesis. 3. They grow as parasites on other organisms or as saprophytes on decaying organic matter in the soil and water. 4. Cell wall of hypha is made up of chitin. 5. They reproduce in a variety of ways, vegetatively, asexually or sexually. The fungi are subdivided into five divisions, Table 1.3. Table 1.3. Divisions of fungi. Divisions. Characteristics. Examples. Chytridiomycota. The simplest and most primitive form. Cenocytic hyphae, no septum. Unicellular or multicellular. Sexual or asexual reproduction. Chytrids. Table 1.3. Divisions of fungi continued. Divisions. Characteristics. Examples. Zygomycota. Conjugated fungi. Aceptate hyphae with many nuclei, cenocytic. Formation of zygospore in sexual reproduction. Rhizopus. Ascomycota. Sac fungi. Hypha is septate and branched except in yeast, unicellular. Mostly reproduce by budding. Yeast. Basidiomycota. Club fungi. Sexual or asexual reproduction. Club-shaped fruiting bodies, basidia. Unicellular or multicellular present. Mushroom. Deuteromycota. Imperfect fungi. Septate hyphae. Strictly asexual reproduction by means of conidia. Penicillium. 1.3.4 Kingdom Plantae. Characteristics of Plantae. 1. Plants are eukaryotic and chlorophyll containing organisms. 2. They obtain their energy from sun through photosynthesis. 3. Cell wall of plant is composed of cellulose. 4. Plants reproduce by vegetative, asexual and sexual methods. 5. In life cycle of plants, interchanges occur from the embryo and are supported by other tissues. 6. They lack motility. The plantae are subdivided into five divisions, Table 1.4. Table 1.4. Divisions of plantae. Divisions. Characteristics. Examples. Thalophyta. Plant body is simple, thallus. Grow in water, on damp soil, on wet rocks and on tree trunks. Vascular system absent. Reproduce by means of asexual or sexual. No embryo formation. Spirogyra. Bryophyta. Most primitive land plants. Grow on damp and shaded soil. Thallus dorsoventral with thread-like rhizoids. N0 vascular system. Have parenchymatous tissue. Sporophyte upright, folios type. Life cycle of bryophytes shows two distinct generations, gametophytic and sporophytic generations. Those two generations regularly alternate with each other in a single life cycle, is called alternation of generations. Liverworts, richer. Hornworts, anthoceros. Mosses, funaria. Pteridophyta. More advanced than bryophytes. Grow chiefly in shaded moist places. Differentiated into rhizome, rachis and pinna. A well-developed vascular system. Reproduction by S-pores. 
Life cycle shows distinct alternation of generations. Ferns, adiantum. Gymnospermy. Woody, non-flowering plants. Seed-bearing vascular plants. Seeds are not enclosed in a fruit. Seeds develop either on the surface of scale or leaf-like appendages known as sporophylls. Coniferous trees, pine. Table 1.4. Divisions of plantae continued. Divisions. Characteristics. Examples. Angiospeny. Flowering vascular plants. The plants with roots, stems and leaves. Widely distributed on the earth's surface. Reproduce by means of flowers, fruits and seeds. Seeds are produced inside the ovary of the flower. Seed with one cotyledon, monocots. Seed with two cotyledons, dicots. Monocots, maize. Dicots, mango. 1.3.5 Kingdom Animalia. Animals are multicellular and heterotrophic organisms. Animals are divided into two main groups. Those that do not have a backbone, vertebral column are grouped as invertebrates and those that have a backbone are grouped as vertebrates. Invertebrates make up more than 95% of all animal species alive today, Table 1.5 and 1.6. Table 1.5. Major phyla of invertebrates. Phyla. Characteristics. Examples. Periphera. Asymmetrical. Poor filter feeders. Not motile, sessile. Consists of two cell layers only, ectoderm and endoderm with mesoglia, non-cellular layer, between them, example, sponges. Sponge. Nycleria. Radial symmetry, two cell layers only, ectoderm and endoderm with mesoglia between them body plan, is with sessile polyp, vase-shaped, or motile medusa, inverted bowl-shaped. Gastrovascular cavity present all have stinging cells, example, corals, jellyfish, jellyfish. Table 1.5. Major phyla of invertebrates, continued. Phyla. Characteristics. Examples. Platyhelminths. Bilateral symmetry. Cephalization with head and brain. Three distinct cell layers, ectoderm, Mesoderm and endoderm. Acelomate, no body cavity. Incomplete digestive system, one opening. Some are parasitic and others free living, example, tapeworm, flatworm. Tapeworm. Nematoda. Bilateral symmetry. Cephalization with head and brain. Three distinct cell layers, ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. Pseudocelomate. Complete digestive system with separate mouth and anus, two openings. Many are parasitic, example, roundworms. Roundworm. Anelida. Bilateral symmetry and segmented. Cephalization with head and brain. Three distinct cell layers, ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. True coelom present, coelomate, Example, earthworms, leeches. Earthworm. Mollusca. Bilateral symmetry. Three distinct cell layers, ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. Have soft body with or without shell, example, snails, slugs, clams, mussels, scallops, oysters, octopuses, squids. Snail. Table 1.5. Major phyla of invertebrates, continued, phyla. Characteristics. Examples. Arthropoda. Bilateral symmetry with jointed appendages. Three distinct cell layers, ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. Exoskeleton present, example, insects, spiders and scorpions, shellfishes, crustaceans, centipedes, one pair of leg per segment, millipedes insect, Two pairs of leg per segment. Insect. Echinodermata. 
bilateral symmetry in embryo, and radial symmetry in adult. Three distinct cell layers, ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. Water vascular system present. Tube feet present on arms, example, starfishes, sea urchins, sea cucumbers. Starfish. Phylum chaya data, vertebrata. All the chordates have bilateral symmetry, with three cell layers, ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm, and dorsal hollow nerve cord. In addition, they all have notochord, pharyngeal gill slits and tail in embryo or in adults. The body of most of the vertebrates is divided into head, trunk and tail, table 1.6. Table 1.6. Major groups of vertebrates. Groups. Characteristics. Examples. Fish. Vertebrates with scaly skin, except a few are scaleless. Live in water. Have gills. Have fins for swimming. Poikilothermic, example, bony and cartilaginous fish. Fish. Table 1.6. Major groups of vertebrates, continued. Groups. Characteristics. Examples. Amphibians. Vertebrates with moist, scaleless skin. Larva has gills and adult has lungs. Poikilothermic. Eggs laid in water, larva, tadpole, lives in water which metamorphoses into adult. Adult often lives on land, example, frogs, newts and salamanders. Frog. Reptiles. Vertebrates with scaly skin, some limbless. Lungs present. Poikilothermic. Lay eggs with shells, example, lizards, snakes, turtles. Snake. Birds. Vertebrates with feathers and beak. Forelimbs have become wings for flight. Lungs present. Homoeothermic. Lay eggs with hard shells, example, birds. Bird. Mammals. Vertebrates with hair have different types of teeth and sizes, canines, premolars and molars. Have lungs and diaphragm. Homoeothermic. Have a placenta and young feed on milk from mammary glands wild cat, example, cats, dogs, humans. Wild cat. Review questions. 1. What are the main branches of biology? 2. State the different fields of biology and their definitions. 3. Explain the term taxonomy in your own words. 4. Define the term biodiversity. 5. Why are living organisms grouped into domains, kingdoms and lower category hierarchies? 6. Briefly explain what is meant by the binomial system of nomenclature. 7. Write down the names of the three domains and the six kingdoms. 8. Distinguish eubacteria from archibacteria citing major differences and similarities. 9. Explain how living things have been separated into six kingdoms. 10. Explain why protists could be considered as animals. 11. Explain why protists are classified separately from animalia. 12. Can heterotrophic protists be placed under a single phylum? Explain your reasoning. 13. State the characteristics of fungi. 14. What are the characteristics of bryophyta with examples? 15. Describe the nature of flowering plants. 16. Describe the characteristics that allow nematodes to be distinguished from platyhelminth worms. 17. Where can you find metamorphosis among the vertebrates? Give examples. Concept map. The study of biology. Importance of biology. Fields of biology. Characteristics of living things. Three main branches of biology, botany, zoology, microbiology. Other 20 branches of biology. Morphology, anatomy, histology, cytology, physiology, embryology, paleontology, taxonomy, ecology, biodiversity, evolution, genetics, mycology, protostology,
psychology, virology, bacteriology, molecular biology, biotechnology, bioinformatics. Taxonomic. Taxonomic hierarchy. Binomial system of nomenclature. Three domains. Arch AEA. Bacteria. Eukarya. Archibacteria. Eubacteria. Protista fungi. Plantae animalia. Plant like. Animal like. Fungus like. Invertebrates. And vertebrates.